So you want to add a new GitHub project and you want to do it with the files that you have already created in Atom. Well, there's a couple of different ways that we can go about doing this. Some involve more time in command line or in terminal. Some are going to involve less of that. And that's the approach that we're going to take today. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go into my repositories and I am going to create a new empty repository that is going to contain the files for this. So I am giving my repository a name. Then I'm going to provide a description for it. So this project connects to open weather openweathermap.org going to initialize it with a readme and then I can create the repository. Now that I've done this, I need to clone this repository to my computer. So I click on the green clone button and I will click on the clipboard icon to copy this URL. We'll look at the URL there and we'll see that it's github.com artboyweatherbug.git. So I copy that and now I am going to go back over to Atom. So I currently have my project folder open inside of Atom. So we can see I'm in a folder and I have it open. Now if I use the platform you know, IDE terminal, the advantage of using that is I will see it's, um, it has navigated to this project folder. If I just open up the command line using bash on Windows or terminal on Mac, I would be at the root level and I would have to then navigate through my different document folders until I have arrived at this destination. So I find it can be a little bit easier to use something like this because it's paired directly with Atom. But once I'm in here, this is a fully functioning version of command line that allows me to do what I need to do. Now I can type git clone, paste in the URL for the git project, and it's going to install that git project in this folder. Then I'm going to take these files, add them to that, and then we will be up and running. So you will see now it's created that folder, has the git structure in it, it has a readme file, and I have my two other files that I am working with. Now that I've completed that, I can close out of command line. So the advantage of doing it this way is we really only have to do one line with command line and because Atom is intimately connected to GitHub we're going to be able to connect that together as well. So the next thing that I need to do is I need to get these files into this git folder. Well it's not really a git folder, into the project folder for the git. So I can close that and now if I drag that up to there, if I drag this over to here, I've now moved those files into there. Now, an important thing to remember is this file, the opening file that we're working with is called weatherbug.html. Because it's not called index.html, we will have to make sure that we are referencing that file name when we set up our git page on GitHub. If we don't want to worry about that, we would rename this file from weatherbug to index.html. So that would be an important consideration to take into account. Now that we've done this, we'll notice we don't have act. So if I look here, it's like, hey, create a repository or try and connect it, all these things. And it's not connected because our root project folder that we have open is this containing folder 
not our weather bug folder. So if I were to go here and say open project in new window, when it opens up we'll notice we have the color coding indicating that these are new files that have been added to this git repository. If I click over here we'll see on that that they are ready to go. Now I could, in lieu of doing that, I could have then open up this project folder, go and file add project folder or open and choose the project folder to open and I could have done it that way as well but I just figure right clicking on that is as easy as anything. So the files have been added or staged. Now, well, they're, they're showing me that I had new files that were there. I staged them. Now I'm going to type in my commit message here. So add files to project. I'll commit that to the master. And now I see down at the bottom, push is ready for me to click on it. There's a one next to it indicating that I have one commit ready to push up to the master so I will push it up we'll see it's thinking about it it's processing it done and now that that part is done I can go back over here and let's refresh the page and we'll see that the files have been added so now we've added the files to it what I want to do now is add in the git page Adding in the Git page requires me to click on the Settings tab. And then in the Settings tab, I am going to scroll down until I see Git Pages. Now under Git Pages, we will have an option to choose what we want it to be. I'm going to choose the master branch. We don't have additional branches in this Git, so it makes sense to just choose that. And now that updates that change scrolls us back to the top we need to scroll back down because it will give us the URL that we need and we'll see it's https colon slash slash startboy.github.io slash weatherbug slash and then we will have to put in the name of the file and I will show that so I'm just going to copy this link address and now go back up click on the code tab so these buttons across the top really, you can see how they show up as, when we click on them, they're tabs. So we commonly refer to them as tabs there. Now, I have my description, but I can now put in the git page file. And remember, weatherbug.html is what I have titled mine. You will use whatever the name is for yours. And I will paste that in. So we can see there it is. And then I have to put the name of the file weather capital bug dot html and now when I hit save it's now saved so I have a git page I have a description I have my files it's a pretty uh, lame description I probably should update that more but we'll leave that for the time being and if I click on this it loads the page can click on show my location and it's loading and it, it's not finding the weather data yet. Looking at the error message, we'll see that it says I had mixed content. The page is the HTTPS, but the open weather map XML HTTP request was conducted without the secure layer on it, so Chrome is unhappy about serving that so we will need to update that and to do that I go into my code I will go find my HXR request I will add in the S save that stage the changes give a description of what I did push it up Refresh the page. And sometimes it takes a little while. Let's go back to the Git page. So if we're here,
and this is one of those uh, GitHub things where things don't always update themselves right away. Thing we can do is if I delete the S, so we change the URL so it's no longer going across the secure layer, then my HXR request in the cached version, which doesn't use it as well. So now if we load that page, so if we load it without the S, show my location, and it all works. So if we want to do it with the secure, and now uh, and now it is working. So we're able to retrieve our data, we're able to retrieve our weather information, network so sometimes we do have to pay attention to those little details on it as we are working with it and don't forget to like and subscribe good luck have fun